My mama, however, did, God bless her soul. She, uh, she had some pictures about five years ago. I started to uh, foul some pictures that my mama had. And I came across a picture from uh, a birthday party in uh, 1956. And we were all five years old at the time. And it was uh, a bunch of us, in fact, there was like three of us there at, uh, around that table that day are still here. And all of us around, I'm cutting the cake, and it was grainy black and white photo, and I'm getting ready to cut my or blow up the candles, you probably want to cut the candles. <laughs> and, uh, and everybody's sitting there looking at the cake, and everybody's being, being good, except one person. <laughs> <laughs> and Harold had snuck around, and just before the flash of the candle, had grabbed Wayne Turner by the throat. <laughs> and was hugging him. I said, and I told Beanie at the time, my wife, I said, if there is a picture that will display somebody for the future, that was that picture. Because Harold could sit still, and he had to be doing something all the time. So uh, that was that was uh, a picture of the future for me right there. I uh, I didn't know Harold's father. I came to the picture right after he passed away. And I spent many, many a day at his, his, his old home and where he grew up. And, um, but Harold would tell stories about his dad um, and, and remembers of his dad. And his dad had a great, his passing had a great effect on Harold. And probably more than anyone would ever really know unless you knew him. Uh, it really bothered him that his, his father passed at such a young age. And three small children in Harold, who wasn't exactly old at the time. And Ronnie, who's not here, right? He always thought of Ronnie. Ronnie? Ronnie, um, more than just a brother to Ronnie. He, he felt like he had to fill the void as a father. And Harold would always brag about his father. loved in his heart, his family, he cared about him, and he loved to brag on him. Um, it wasn't easy for Harold sometimes, but uh, he had a real sentimental part of it that he just didn't want to show him. But he was that way. I could tell stories for a long time about Harold, and the stuff he got himself into, and uh, got some of us into. Um, I can remember uh, being chased by the police in the middle of the night, coming back to Tampa, <coughs> going with auto lights, going through Gibson to the uh, trailer park. Uh, the two young ladies, that's where the main name was, I was scared to death at the time. Okay. And then, of course, there's baseball stories after baseball stories uh, that uh, I could go into from the boys' club and high school. And then, of course, there's a love hate relationship. Well, my girl, I can't hate relationship with Nuns and Marinara. He was the dean of boys, and he and Harold had many a conversation as I recall. Not never pleasant, by the way. Uh, Harold, was, uh, Harold was a unique individual. Well, I'm going to pass it to Todd here then to some of my friends and talk about my favorite story of Harold. It would not be Harold's favorite story of Harold. I imagine for many of you this would be the first time you've ever heard this story. It's not threatening to say it. But uh, I always laugh a lot about it. Uh, we had gotten out of high school and uh, I was a freshman in college and didn't have two different boys together. And uh, Harold was looking for that career job. He had gone from job to job. Look at that So it was like a Tuesday night or Wednesday night. And I'd say, finally land this job. He went, he's going to work for the television. Daryl Tell. And he got his job. Now, Daryl convinced to brag how much money he was making and uh, all the benefits he was going to have and all this kind of stuff. Of course, you know, I, I didn't have a dime in my name. And uh, so Daryl goes, uh, 
He goes in and gets Harold. Harold's like, what's going on? Oh, oh, yeah. Your boy's under arrest. He's been breaking into a, this place. He's been stealing, taking me out. I want you to go up to the owner and apologize to him. He drove around and Harold and I are crying. And I'm telling Sergeant Bass that Harold made me do it all. <laughs>